Well, friends, I thought I would take just a minute to uh, spend a little more time on factor analysis and working with loadings. We've almost made it through this little uh, sector of the ladder, and you're looking good. It should be a blast. Our analysis produced a rotated component matrix for each of three factors, and the factor loadings, of course, explain the interaction of the variables with each identified factor. You will recall that we had three factors who had eigenvalues above 1.0, and therefore they were deemed important. These loadings speak to each of those three factors, and these interactions provide extensive insight into the important issues in the data set. Here's our rotated component matrix. We have the top factor one, factor two, and factor three. Here we have the variables that we produced in that, the percentage of disciplinary placements, African-American, Hispanic, white student enrollments, <coughs> the economically disadvantaged percentages, the, the limited English proficiency at risk and special ed. In this first one, we note that the largest, uh, the largest players with economically disadvantaged Hispanic and limited English proficiency and at risk. We can assume that there is, and then of course, why? Uh, when we examine the data set, we notice that factor one might be called ethnicity because we have Hispanic and, and white having a lot of impact upon economically disadvantaged, limited English proficiency, and at risk. And of course, when you go in and examine the data set, as you would suspect, uh, rising percentages of Hispanics certainly do impact the economically disadvantaged, ling limited English proficiency, and the number of at-risk students. The next one we notice that the most profound impacts are with the percentage of disciplinary placements. Then we come down and we notice that it is very much impacted by special ed and by the percentage of at-risk students. I read this to say that if you're a special ed student and you're at risk and, and you, you do anything, your butt's going to get a disciplinary placement. You would be more likely to. The last of these, and we might call that special needs, the last of these, the most important factor is the percentage of African Americans, which impact uh, the percentage of Hispanic white. It appears to me that uh, the African American uh, percentages in a school and the white percentages are somewhat related uh, and opposed to Hispanics. In other words, as you get more Hispanics in districts in Texas across those with higher ratios or percentages of Hispanic, they have less percentages of whites and African Americans. That, that makes sense to me. And, and uh, we might just simply call this factor African-American enrollment. Now, we identified three important factors. Again, factor one could be named ethnicity, factor two could be named special needs, and factor three could be named African-American. Interpretations of these loadings inside the data set provides a powerful insight into that data set. That's why we might conduct a factor analysis, to really dissect a data set to try to understand what is going on within it. Now, as always, I want to thank you very much for your support. Live long and prosper, peace and long life. You have a blessed day. This is Dr. Dog signing off.